What's up everybody, I am Jay Diggs, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Luke Holland Drums, a new contact instrument from Mixwave. I'm excited to see this thing in action. I hope you are too. Let's go. All right, here we are in Luke Holland Drums. The first thing I like about this kit is I really love the rock sound. What's great about this kit is you can change some of these sounds. So here with the snare, we can change it to the black brass snare. But I like the neural bronze snare. So it's great. Now, I'm gonna show you some different things that you can do with this kit. Um, first of all, you can change the sounds to the raw recordings that they did. They brought Luke Holland in, they sampled his playing, sampled his kit, and you can actually change this. So they have presets up here. So right here, when you open the plugin, they have uh, just like the record. So everything's gonna be mixed, it's gonna sound great. But also, you can go to the unmixed kit. So this is basically how they recorded the sounds raw. So if I go to unmixed, it sounds completely different. So that's the complete raw sound. And I like this. I'm gonna show you something uh, with this a little bit later of how you can take that and you can make this kit just sound your, completely your own. So I prepared this little groove and what I'm gonna do is show you some different ways that you can use the Luke Holland drums in your productions. What I'm gonna do is start playing the drums and we'll bring in some of these other elements uh, as we go just to, so you can get a general sense of what we're working on here. Yeah. All right. Now, what I love about that is it sounds really nice and punchy just with the raw sound, just without me adding any effects, which I'm going to show you here, which is going to give this some more of a more of a synth wave sound. Now, what I did with this is I actually made two instances of it because, first of all, I wanted to create some 80 sounding toms. Now here I'll play just the drums here. So with these toms right here, I put on a gate, gated reverb. So I'll take it off. So that's the raw sound out of the plugin. And then with this, with this uh, gated reverb here. So it gives it more of that 80 sound. Now, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how you can strip this kit down and you can make it all of your own. So earlier, I told you that you can take the mix off. I going to unmix, but you can do it by track. So I'm gonna to go to the kick here. Now down here, this is the regular kit view. Now if you look here at the bottom, you hit drums and you can take the mix off right here. Hit that mix button and get the raw kick. Now with the snare, I'm gonna click the snare, take mix off. Now you still have the room, which is gonna come in handy as well. All right, so what I wanna do is create a big 80s sound. Now the drums sound great out of the box, but now that I have the raw sounds here of my kick and snare, I'm going to tweak them a little bit. So we'll go to the kick. I'm going to add some tape distortion. I'm going to add some compression and EQ. Right? And do the same with the snare. And then what's really going to set this off is the gated reverb. So I'm going to send these to the gated reverb. Now let's see how the track sounds with these. So as you can see, it kind of gives us like a really big 80s room. Let's turn these off so you can hear the comparison. Right? Yeah, so now 
I've turned this rock kit into an 80 synth wave kit. Now I have the room and the overhead mics that I can play with. So let's, let's see something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the track and I'm going to bring the room down. And if I want to drive it a little bit more, have it, have it uh, be a little bit more rock sounding, I can pull that room back up. So let's see. Yeah. So sometimes in synthwave you might want that 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 really big rock sound. So this 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 kit is great. It's really it's really versatile. Now let's say with Luke Holland drums that I want a really tight sound. Maybe I don't want that big rock sound. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm gonna pull down the room. I'm gonna even pull back the overheads a little bit and let's see if we can get a nice tight tight sound with this. So depending on the track that you're working on, you might want that really nice tight sound. You don't want that big open sound. So you can do you can do a lot with this. You can tune it. Now with this can be really interesting because let's say you want to work on a track and you want something that sounds a little bit less organic. You can tune this snare up for a really unique sound. <laughs> I think that sounds kind of cool. Now let's go even tighter. As you can see down here, we have reverb uh, for the snare and the toms. Let's take the reverb off and see if we can get even uh, an even tighter sound. So as you can see, you can get you can get super tight and even do different genres with this. You can sample it, resample it, and create something completely different. So there's a lot you can do with this plugin. So now that we have our drums nice and tight, let's bring our gated reverb back in. So as you can see, we've completely changed the sound of this kit. The next thing I want to try is to pitch the snare down to see if we can get a little bit more weight to this track. I like that. I like that. It has a lot more weight. Now, let's see if we can go even further because they, they didn't stop there. So as you can see right here, you even have control over the top and bottom mic of the snare. So let me show you this. So you can completely change the tonality of the drums. So with this track, I'm going to bring the top up. And I'm going to click over to the kick. And as you can see with the kick, you have control over the in and out mic on the kick. I love that. I love that they that they went that detail with this. All right, guys, so that was Luke Holland Drums. There's features in here that we didn't touch on. If you want a full deep dive, be sure to look at the Mixed Wave overview video. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how you plan on using Luke Holland Drums in your productions. You can get the link below. I am Jay Diggs, and until next time, peace.